about? What you know about love? You know, uh, tell me what you know. What you know about? What you know about? What you know about love? What you know about love? What you know? What you know? What you know, what you know, what you know about love? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Struggle streaming with BK. In this video, we are going to talk about Bond Number Nine's best blueberry scent. And when y'all hear that, y'all know what we're talking about, right? Bleecker Street. Bleecker Street. Well, at least that's what most people think. Okay, they think Bleecker Street. But bond number nine's best blueberry scent is Andy Warhol's Montauk. And that review is coming up next after the intro. I'll see y'all in about 10 seconds. Let's get it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Struggle Stream with BK. Um, today's review, we're going to do it on uh, Bond Number 9's Montauk. And like I said before, Bond Number 9's best blueberry scent. Okay, I know everybody loves Bleecker Street. And though Bleecker Street is an awesome scent. Okay, and it, it, it's one of the, the, it's one of the, how do I say, I, I don't even want to say goats, but it's one of the, Flag carriers for Bond number nine. Everybody seems to love Bleecker Street. I'm not one of those pe people. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Bleecker Street a lot. But it's so many other fragrances from Bond number nine that people just don't know about that I think are much better. And one of those is Montauk. So let's get Bleecker Street out of here. This ain't about you. All right. We're going we gonna, we gonna to do a review on you later, Bleecker Street. All right. This review is about bond number nine montauk y'all see that bottle pretty bottle right turn around that way y'all like that y'all like the pink that's a little more man how we roll with the pink all right so where do i start off with this all right um for those of you don't know about uh bond, the history of bond number nine and andy warhol uh bond number nine signed a contract with andy warhol back in 2009 and they did several fragrances um they did AKA the purple juice, which is Andy Warhol. It's named after him. Still ain't got my hands on that one. That that mug is like eleven $1 hundred dollars a bottle. It dropped down about seven, I'm getting it. But uh it's hard to find. Um they made the Andy Warhol Montauk. You had the Andy Warhol Silver Factory, another one of my favorite bond number nines. And you had the Andy Warhol successor. Su success is a job in New York. That's a long name, but yeah, success is a job in New York. And what am I missing? I'm missing one. The pink bottle. The um oh crap. I can't think of a not right now. It's gonna it's gonna come back to me, y'all. But I'm missing one. But um, Bond number nine did sign a contract in 2009 with Andy Warhol to collaborate with the estate to bring out uh, those brands. So I believe it's five of them, one, two, three. Yeah, five of them. And um, I've owned four. I've smelled the purple juice, but I've never been able to get it. But uh, uh, I own four of the five. And the contract ended in 2013. So once that ended, they couldn't produce it anymore legally. So a couple of them they remade they remade the uh silver factory into one called silver and they remade the successes of New York into just success. I'm missing one. They redid the pink one, the pink bottle. So that that stuff is bothering me. Hold on, y'all. Give me 10 seconds. Nope, I gotta look it up. I I gotta I gotta look it up. This is gonna bother me. Give me ten seconds. Don't don't yell at me, y'all. Don't yell at me. Am I supposed to be doing this during a review? I don't know. We're gonna Google in the review. Maybe I'll edit this out. But uh da, 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 da. let me see. Uh Andy. Okay, I'm gonna buy number one. Oh, you know what? No wonder. I can't even um look it up. Y'all gonna yell at me, alright? 
Just yell at me. <laughs> I have to know what the name of this is or it's going to bother me, y'all. Maybe I'll edit this part out. You know what? I'm going to leave this in here so y'all can know how retarded I am. Uh, There it is. Boom. Lexington Avenue. Why well, I couldn't think of that? I was thinking Kentucky in my mind. But I knew it wasn't on Andy Warhol, Kentucky. Uh, Andy Warhol, Lexington Avenue. So, they they did the Silver Factory, turned it into silver. They did the Lexington Avenue, and they turned it into just Lexington Avenue. And they did the success of the job in New York into just a success. Okay, now, um, they didn't do redo the Montauk, and they didn't do the Andy Warhol Purple Juice, which is just Andy Warhol. So, you can't... I ain't gonna say you can't find them. They're very expensive when you do find them, okay? Because I guess they're like a collector's item now. They're hard to get. Um, the, in my opinion, I've smelled the, uh, okay, my, I wanted to show y'all the difference in a second. But um, I still have my silver factory, okay? It's not the silver. I have the original. Okay, I have my silver factory. I have my Lexington Ab, but I wasn't pulling that out. That's on one of the bottom shelves. It's major feminine. And y'all know how many fragrances I got. I wasn't going all the way to the bottom shelf. Um, the Andy Warhol, Success is a Job in New York, that long title. Um, if you get a hold of them, this is what you can, the way you can tell whether you got the new one from bottom number nine or the old one. Because the old boxes have Andy Warhol on the back of it. Can y'all see that? Hope y'all can see that yeah that's in there y'all can see that okay so that's it one way where you can look at the box if you don't know any better by looking at the bottle uh check out the back of the box and you can see if it's the original andy warhol and the reason i say this is right the the original juices from andy warhol smell slightly better than the remakes I don't know if it's something that bond number nine had to do where they couldn't make it exactly the same because of the contract or anything like that. Or um, I noticed they switched up one of the notes. But anyway, maybe they had to s switch up one of the notes and because um, it's like that between the silver and the silver factory. So maybe they had to switch up the notes in order to continue to sell it. Maybe they think it's an improvement. But the silver factory to me smells better than the silver. Um, I believe the same thing for the successes in New York compared to the regular success. It smells different and it lasts a lot longer. The successes in New York does. The Lexington Ave pretty much smelled the same to me, in my opinion. It smells the same or maybe because I'm a man and that is straight feminine. I can't really mess with it that long to tell the difference, right? Because I did only uh, smell that one on the card. But um I, I would say if you're able to get the original juice, get the original juice when it comes to Andy Warhol's, okay? Because the original ones do smell better, stronger, especially that Silver Factory. But anyway, um, that's the background with um, Bond Number no. 9 and Andy Warhol. Now on to this bad baby right here. Um, this is considered a aquatic woody fragrance. Um, bond number nine, they did their thing with this one. Uh, Montauk shows up in my summer bangers. I think it was number two on my summer bangers. And it was number nine in my bond number nine top sense. And y'all know, well, for the new people, like check out my other videos. He, he, he. But y'all know I got a lot of, I got a lot of bond number nine fragrances. 60, 69, I think I have now. But this is number nine. Like, this is an awesome smelling fragrance. I love Andy Warhol Montauk. I really do. I truly do. Um, Like I said, this is number two on my summer banger list. I love wearing this in the summer. I love wearing this in the spring also. But I consider this a summer banger because of how great it smells. Um, The Black Concurrent, which is basically... The black current, the, the black current and the blueberries, basically the blueberries in here, gives this that 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 extra extra fruity smell that just screams summer to me. 
This is one of my summer staples that I wear. I'm about to run out of this, y'all. I'm under half. I'm going to cry when it's gone. <laughs> I can't find it. But um, I wear this a lot in the summer. Sometimes in the spring, um, I don't really mess with it in the in the winter. Rarely. Um, reason being, it doesn't give me much longevity. And that's the only the only negative I have with this. And don't get me wrong, you get five, six hours with this, uh, with longevity. It has a nice projection. It has a, a powerful projection. It just don't it don't pop on my skin. It reminds me of Bleecker Street. And maybe it's my skin and blueberries or something. But um, it's the same thing like blueberry. I mean, like Bleecker Street. It doesn't pop on my skin as far as like longevity. I get maybe five, six hours with it, which is a long time for normal colognes, but not for bond number nine. Like for, for those of you out there watching this, that wears bond number nine, y'all know they last 10, 11, 12 hours on average, like some 16, 17, 18 hours. Man, they got colognes like that Amber or that Uday New York that survived the wash. It's still on your clothing after you wash it. It's, bond number nine makes some strong fragrances and that's another reason i love them I'm, i mean i just love them man they get they, they get it in um the notes on this um let's get to the notes the top notes on this are bergamot bay leaf and the black currant the mid notes on this are hyacinth lily of the valley which is a flower and my favorite honeysuckle <laughs> Hey, the honey is strong on this in the mid when you get to the mids. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the base notes on this are um, red oak, maple, um, amber, and driftwood. So it's a woody aquatic fragrance overall. So it's spray on time. Y'all know the routine. I hit this hand. Normally, I try to do it like four or five hours, probably like four hours earlier. But with this, it don't it don't pop as long. So I sprayed it on probably like two hours ago. Um, this one, fresh. Hit it. That'd be great. I'm wasting my spray. Now I think about it, y'all. Nah. <laughs> Get that back up there. Um... Before we do our smelling, don't do the smelling yet. I do the smelling. I look, boy. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'll. And it's the summer right now, y'all. It's mid, mid August. What I get, <laughs> my nose just, it's just up in my, my, my nose just smelling so good right now, y'all. All right, composure. Let's get it, Jay. All right, so um, what I get when I first, when I first cracked this open, you can smell the berries. You can smell the juices. Uh, the berries, it smells kind of citrusy, but. I definitely can smell the berries with bergamot and some of the some of the flowers. I'm assuming that's the um definitely because that's not the honey. I'm assuming that's the uh, hyacinth. I looked it up and that's supposed to be like a very potent, very strong potent flower. And I'm assuming that's what it is when you first spray it on with the um, with the berries and the, um, the citrus. I smell the fruitiness. So fruitiness with uh, like a, a, a strong hint of floral. I know that they consider this unisex, and I'm assuming it's because of the floral notes inside of here. I don't think this is unisex though. Not that a woman couldn't pull it off, but it's probably like 60-40 masculine, right? 
But with y'all know with, with the summer sense, the fruity sense, you know, anybody can pull them off, male or female, for most fragrances. But I definitely, yeah, this, this is all fruit. And this is all fruit and some of the flowers. Definitely, definitely fruit with the flowers. Maybe the lily? Nah. This this got to be that hyacinth. You can smell it inside the fruit. But anyway, um, the opening is very fruity, very citrusy, and with a, a sharp, I would say a, a sharp hint of floral, right? It's... It, it, what I like uh, mostly about this fragrance is it's nothing. It's like nothing else I've smelled before. Now I know there's plenty of people out here who got two, 20,000 different colognes. All right, so maybe you have smelled something like this before. Um, if you know something that smells like this at um, like the Montauk, please leave a comment below because I love to check it out. Um, especially once, uh, once I get low on this and run out, <laughs> need a replacement. But, um, like I love wearing this in the summer. This is a summer scent. Um, who would wear this? Anybody, everybody, your mama, your daddy, your son, your daughter, your kid, spray some on the cat. Hell, spray some on the dog, spray some on your parrot. Nah, but uh, who will wear this? Anybody will wear this. Um, I love this fragrance. I probably don't say that 27 times, but I truly do love this fragrance. Who will wear it? Anybody. Um, I wouldn't say in the wintertime wearing it, right? Though it has a nice projection, if you, wouldn't, you get to the office, um, for me, it doesn't do well in the cold. Um, and I'm up in Michigan. So it's cold, cold. You know, maybe you down in Texas cold or or you down in um, Tennessee cold. Maybe you can rock it. But Michigan cold, nah, nah. It eats this up. But it does have a nice projection, especially in the summertime. And it the longevity, like I already said, I believe I said five to six hours I get with this. Who would wear it? anybody where they wear it i would say this is a late a date night fragrance and i mean like a date night outdoors type fragrance atl shorty that's what i say a lot this is an outdoor late night going to party in atl something like that that's what this fragrance reminds me of it's not it's not sophisticated you know there it, it's this is not a complicated fragrance at all right um, it just does what it does very well, right? Um, like I said, date night, I can see this outside hanging, um, going to the park. You could probably wear this to the beach. This would be a nice beach scent as well. Anything outside summer activity, I think this would go well. Date night outside, you have a dinner outside in the warm weather. This would be a nice, nice one to spray on to go out with, right? Also, okay, they might as well nickname this LL Cool Montauk because ladies love this, okay? And when I mean ladies, you get all type of compliments with Bond Number no. 9 Montauk, or should I say Bond Number no. 9's Andy Warhol's Montauk, okay? They did their thing with this one. This is, like I said, out of all the fragrances I have, this made my top 10. Number nine on my top 10 list. Um, that video, I'm going to link it down below. In case you ain't seen it, go on to it. Um, pause. I forgot to do it at the beginning of my video. Let me do it now. Um, this is the part of the video when I beg y'all. Um, can y'all hook a brother up with a like and a subscribe? Um, I'm really trying to grow the channel. And this helps out a lot. Um, Y'all don't know. Um, I appreciate everybody who's been interacting with me. Y'all know I try to get to all comments and I try to respond to them. Um, I love interacting with y'all. Um, 
I feel like I'm giving an opinion that's kind of teaching people. And I love when y'all comment back because y'all teach me things too. Um, shout out to E. What's up, E? <laughs> but um, I love interacting with y'all. So um, leave y'all comments below. Um, tell me how you feel about Montauk, definitely. And if anybody know um, a Montauk clone or maybe what you think, because a lot of people think Bond number nine clones everything. If you think Bond number nine cloned a particular scent, uh, leave it down below. And for all you, uh, for you, uh, Bleecker Street lovers, I know y'all gonna get on me because I talk junk about Bleecker Street. Leave y'all nasty comments below. I respond to them too. <laughs> but uh, back to the mid notes. This hand. Like I said, I had this on probably about two hours now. Y'all, and I can still smell the berries. The berries and the honey. Also, the berries is light now. I can smell the honey and wood. I don't... I would assume this is driftwood. Because it doesn't... I'm not getting the oak. I'm definitely... I think this is driftwood. The driftwood note that I'm getting... Kind of salty. But I think this is the driftwood note I'm getting. Also, I forgot to add. Um, you can smell the amber, even though it's considered a base note in here. You can smell that amber from I don't want to say jump because that 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 flower and that berry is really strong. But after 30 minutes, that amber kicks in and it carries it all the way from the from the top notes, the mid, all the way to the base notes, okay? That amber is strong in here, and you can smell it. And me, I'm an amber lover, so maybe that's why I love this fragrance so much. Uh, if you're not an amber fan, you might not be a fan of this. But forget that. You're going to be a fan of this. You're going to love this. Y'all know me. I like woody bases, base notes, or whatever. And I like how wood covers the covers fruit. Like they do that really well with the um with the bond number nine centerpiece. Bond number nine centerpiece does the same thing where it has the wood, the woody base, and it kind of covers the fruit. They have that in this as well, but in um in a berry blueberry form. And with the with the with the flowers, the florals in the mids. So they do a nice job with this one. Like I said, this isn't a complicated, this is not a complicated fragrance, right? But it does what it does well. It's simple. It opens fruity citrusy with that sharp hint of flower. It goes down to the mids. You get the honey. You get the, the honey notes and the florals and the amber. And then it closes out like five, six hours later. That's when you start smelling the, the driftwood, the amber still there, and the oak. So right now, I'm only at two hours. I don't smell the oak kicking in yet, right? But in another two hours or so, you the oak takes over. You it, it gets real woody at the end, right? So that's where that masculine, masculine, that masculine part comes in, like really like grown man shit, like, the fourth and fifth hours for me. Um, I've seen other reviewers say that this this gives them eight, nine hours. Um, not on my skin. So I don't want to tell anybody, you know, yeah, this going to pop on you. It's going to give you eight, nine hours and it don't. I know on my skin, it give me five hours, five strong hours to six, right? Then it started to, right? So this is one, if I sprayed it on in the morning, I'll take it to work. Right, and I might hit myself one more time during lunch to get me through the rest of the work day, but I don't have to do that with most bond number nine. But some people out there saying they get eight, nine, ten hours, so maybe it will pop on your skin if you decide to get it. Right, um, what I recommend is price point. Price point when I got it was like 300 and I think this was like 340 dollars, 340 dollars. Was it worth it? Hell motherfucking yeah. Yeah, it was. Now, the Andy Warhol Montauk, if you get it, they got a 1.7 as well. But if you can find a 3.4 out there, 
because it's it doesn't the price is not blown up on montauk like it is on the silver factory like this silver factory the original i got this one from germany i got this from germany that's how and i paid a good 600 dollars for it but um it was damn sure worth it i'll tell you that like uh <laughs> I believe, was this Italy or Germany? I believe this one was for Germany. Hey, y'all, I done bought some bond number nine from everywhere in Europe, um, Asia, um, Mexico, <laughs> uh, Florida. Like, I, hey, I done bought some bond number nine from some everywhere. But the Montauk doesn't, it doesn't, it's not overly overpriced like the Silver Factory and like the Purple Juice. But you can get this, you could probably find this for $250, three, between $250 and $350 for 3 point, um, for the, uh, 3.3 for the big boy, the 100 milliliters. You definitely can find this for between $250 and $350 when you can find it. But I've seen this more than any of the other Andy Warhols, right? So... When they made this, this had to be a hot seller because there's a lot of it out there for you to get. Is it worth it? Definitely. If somebody's charging you five, six hundred dollars, y'all know what I'm gonna say. If you can't afford it, don't get it. But with this being, if you can find this for regular price, around $250, $350, in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. It's in my top 10 bond number nine. So I definitely gonna tell you it's definitely worth the price point. If you can afford it, right? Always stay within your budget. I'm going to tell you that all the time, right? Y'all know me, not Mr. Uh, I'm going to get it from Saks or I'm going to get it from bond number nine directly. But side note, my boy Q, I found him a deal on Amazon. I got him a centerpiece for $200, right? With taxes, I think it was like, um, I had a coupon. It was $24 off. So I got it for like, I think it was two, it was like $203, right? And then it came in, it was the real juice. So, <laughs> so if you can, um, if you can find it, I just wanted to state that because y'all know me. I always tell y'all to go get the, get the original, but I can say that you can, I can say now that you can find the original ones in the secondhand market and i know most people shop secondhand i find some of these mugs for 80 90 dollars right i just be not willing to take the risk after i got it done but um let me close this up i'm running my mouth too much y'all i actually got a plane to catch in like four hours i need to get off here but um struggle streaming with bk my review for bond number nine montauk i know i got the mumbling a lot on this one but um Hook a brother up with a like and subscribe. Um, comment below if you got any questions. Um, also, don't forget, if you know a, a Montauk clone or something similar to it, let me know because I really want to check it out. Um, that's all I got for y'all today. I want to say peace out. Everybody be safe. I'm going on vacation. Um, I'm going to take a couple bottles with me, so I might do some reviews while I'm on vacation. Y'all know how it is on vacation. Maybe not. But uh, I'm going to try to get one out. I'm going to try to get one, at least one more video out um, while I'm on vacation. So be looking out for that, y'all. But if y'all don't hear from me in, 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 in a couple days, y'all wondering where I'm at. I'm on vacation. I'll be gone for like a week. So I'll holler at y'all when I get back. Okay, y'all? Struggle streamer with BK. And I'm out. Peace. What you know about you know about love you know, uh, tell me what you know what you know about you know about you know about love you know about love what you know what you know what you know